Hey guys, uh, so today I'm going to talk about a case for the DJI Ronin M, which is a smaller version. Uh, a lot of you guys are planning on picking this up or may already have it, um, but traveling with it is not going to be as easy as you think. Even though it's a smaller system, it still comes with a lot of this stuff, and I'm pretty sure you're going to get an extra battery as well, and uh, you want to carry your stand with you. Now, when you have to fly, you want to bring a case that um, is going to be able to hold all this stuff, as well as comply with the uh, carry-on size for uh, you know bringing it on board with you so this right here is a case option that you guys uh, might want to look at it's a hard case this is a pelican uh, i believe im 2600 storm case which has been modified on the interior so you're going to pay more for that modified interior but it's ready to go it's uh, carry-on size compliant, unlike some of the other cases out there that may be a little bit too big or too large. Um, this one does not have wheels, so it's just a simple hand carry, but it fits everything that you need, plus, uh, again, an extra battery. And this is essentially all the parts that come with the DJI Ronin, including the stand. So I'm just gonna show you, take you uh, through a tour of how to put all the stuff into this case because it fits perfectly and um, it's great for just throwing it in the trunk of your car and not having to worry about any of the wires or any of the parts being damaged or scratched. Um, so again, you will be paying more for the modified case, but for me, uh, it's definitely worth it. First thing, stand, big stand. That goes right in here, right into the case. So you can see uh, how it fits. There you go. So I don't know if you guys could see that. Fits perfectly here in the bottom tray. And then uh, we've got a slot for the handles. You'll notice they're kind of angled here because your handles are angled on the DJI Ronin. So we're just gonna drop two handles up here. And then these are the handle bars that come, come apart. That goes over here. You'll notice that it's kind of notched out as well. So it'll fit uh, either way, this way or this way. And then this area here is gonna be for your remote. Uh, drop your remote right in there. Um, and then we've got an area for the charger. So your charger can go in here along with the cable. So that's kind of where the, the lower tray goes. Now there's an upper tray, top tray, that fits right up here. And I believe it goes this way. Doesn't really matter. Uh, you'll notice there's some hand straps here so you can lift the tray out. Now before I put it into the case, let's just uh, throw this in. The main gimbal is gonna go right over here. So that's the main frame of the uh, the, the gimbal so it's nice fit right there um, I've got two batteries so your battery is gonna go one right here and one over here two batteries will pretty much run you several hours so um, that's good enough you've got some extra room for some of the tools that come with your DJI some of the screws and then a custom fit for your top handle here at the top. So you see how nice and neat everything packs up. So as you're putting things away, you'll make sure that you uh, won't forget anything. So you just throw in the uh, top piece of foam here, close this up. And again, what you're getting is a legitimate Pelican Storm IM2600 case. So uh, it's a good quality case. Now the case alone you could probably get for 130 bucks, but if you want all of this modified interior, you're gonna pay a little more than $300, but uh, it's just an option. You guys can build one yourself if you start with this case because everything seems to fit in here perfectly. But um, I'll have links to this case or the uh, modified case as well on the site. Check it out, cheesycam.com.